Thank you for choosing the Department of Vascular Surgery at the Minneapolis Heart Institute. We are here to take good care of you as your abdominal aortic aneurysm, also called an AAA or AAA, is repaired. Now that you and your doctor have chosen endovascular aneurysm repair, we want to help you and your support team prepare for your upcoming procedure. This video will guide you through each stage of your care, from pre-planning to the day of surgery and days after surgery. By understanding the major aspects of endovascular repair before your hospital stay, you can focus on getting better once treatment begins. It is equally important for your support team to understand your procedure before your hospital stay. By understanding the details ahead of time, loved ones will feel better prepared to help you during your hospitalization and recovery. We recommend you designate one lead person as family liaison during your hospital stay. This person would then keep your support system updated on your progress as needed. You and your family, friends, or loved ones are critical partners in our healthcare team. By working together, we can help you achieve the best experience possible. An abdominal aortic aneurysm is a balloon-like bulge that forms at a weak place in the aorta vessel wall. The purpose of endovascular repair is to prevent aneurysm rupture. Endovascular repair of an abdominal aortic aneurysm takes place in a specialized operating room. Anesthesia is used to keep you relaxed and pain-free. The operation takes about three hours. During surgery, the weakened wall of the aorta is relined with a hollow sleeve made of strong, flexible fabric and a stent called an endograft. Surgery begins with two small incisions made in an artery in each leg near the groin. A thin, flexible tube called a sheath is inserted into the artery and guided to the aneurysm. The endograft is sent through the sheath and released inside the aorta. X-rays are taken to guide the placement of the endograft. It will expand to replace the weakened wall of the aorta. The sheath is removed and the artery is closed. Now blood can begin to flow safely through the aorta to the lower body. You will receive preoperative instructions to help get needed details in place before your operation. The preoperative instructions outline what medical appointments are needed to be done before surgery, how to handle your current medications, what to bring for your hospital stay, what to do prior to your arrival, where to park, and where to go first in the hospital. Pre-planning not only gets the details out of the way, it helps you and your support system have a more comfortable experience. Once you arrive on campus, enter the main public parking ramp located next to the Heart Hospital. Valet parking is also available. Take the parking ramp elevator to level D slash E, which opens to the second floor Skyway area. Walk down the second floor hallway towards the Heart Hospital registration area, labeled H2000. The receptionist will check you in. After registration, take the elevator to the third floor. A reception liaison will greet you and help you with any other needed details. You are now ready to wait in the patient family waiting area. When it's time for your procedure to begin, you will be escorted to a preoperative care suite, also called the PACU. Nursing staff will help you get situated in your room and answer any questions you may have. Hi Dick, I'm gonna start an IV. After you change into a hospital gown, a nurse will insert an IV line into your arm for fluids and medications. Your surgeon will come to see you, review the procedure, and have you sign a consent form. You are now ready for surgery. Family may accompany you up to the doors that lead to the operating room. From there, they will return to the waiting area. We request at least one family member remains in the waiting area during your surgery. In the operating room, an anesthesiologist will give you medicine to keep you relaxed, pain-free, and possibly make you sleep. After surgery, you will return to the PACU for post-operation monitoring. Your family will be notified and have a consultation with your doctor. When ready, you will move to a standard patient room. You may have some tubes to help your body function. They will be removed when no longer needed. Some pain is to be expected after your surgery. Your nurse will ask you often about your pain. Do not be shy to ask for pain medication. Unmanaged pain may delay your recovery. Family may visit you now and you may eat regular hospital meals. Your energy level will be strengthened through moderate activity as tolerated. Breathing exercises using an incentive spirometer will help you to quicken your recovery. Your comfort level will depend on several factors, 
Refer to the care map included in your surgery packet for a complete list of what to expect on your first day of surgery. In the days following your procedure, your recovery will continue to progress. Nursing staff will check on you often to be sure you're healing well. Your IV line will remain in place until shortly before discharge. Refer to the care map for a complete list of what to expect on your days following surgery. A typical hospital stay lasts one day or longer, depending on your medical needs. Plan to avoid strenuous activity for one to two weeks. We are thankful your aneurysm was discovered and you're taking action to improve your health. We wish you a good recovery, back to your normal life.